everyone i am monica from miles nine so we will be doing this reading that name is communicating styles and conflict so i am not sure on which date it had repeated so it was 3rd august or 8 august i don't know about but it is sure that in august only it had come uh, in ielts exam so uh, you can see the paragraphs here mm -hmm. and you can read if you want knowing your communication style and having a mix of styles on your team can provide a positive force for relevant conflict okay so this is the basic thing they have told you about the topic okay now nothing we will not read anything so you can see first type of question here list of heading and second type of question we have true false not given third type of question we have mm -hmm. Of course, multiple choice questions. Okay, so one tip for here uh, for multiple choice questions, specifically at the end when you have this kind of question, the writer kind of kind things. So take care of any writer, any person who is just talking about V, U, I kind of thing uh, he may be using, and sometimes he may be using I in inverted comma also. wherever person name writer name is there so you can get that answer as well as if you do not get this writer word or any person name uh, then follow this keyword strategy okay so in mcq as i told already told you that you have to follow the sentence structure you have to understand and just follow the keyword strategy also so so many people they get confused because of this writer word is given so don't worry about it just follow the keyword strategy okay wherever you will get this keyword self assessment tools you can get this answer nearby so how to do this list of heading let's read the instructions word first it is important to read the instructions reading passage has eight sections a to h choose the correct heading for each section so here it is this is not which section contains the following information this is match the heading means list of headings we have to give um, we have to select for these sections these paragraph out of these headings okay so here every paragraph will get headings so that is the main difference between which section contains the following information and list of heading so write the correct number 1 to 10 in boxes 1 to 8 on your answers it means two options are extra so take care of those options and of course we will read all the options all the headings first we will try to understand its meaning and keyword here keyword strategy will give you correct answers if you select the correct keywords so let's read it and do it with me so i will be showing you paragraph and top and headings also so let's read summarizing personality types summarizing means some summary kind of thing about personality mm -hmm. types okay combined style for workplace so workplace is important and combined some joint style for uh, workplace okay physical explanation some physical kind of physical you understand physical uh, persons physical and all so a, a lively person who encourages a lively person a happy person a Um, who encourages who encourages means maybe positive person demanding and unsympathetic uh, personality so something mm -hmm. demanding and unsympathetic means not having any emotions feelings and all lazy mm -hmm. careless personality benefits of understanding communication style so benefits of understanding uh, mm -hmm. communication styles cautious and caring mm -hmm. factual and analytic personality factual in actual uh, factual means um, believe in fact uh, factual things real things and analytical um, uh, analytical statistical kind of thing so um, self assessment determines one's temperament self assessment uh, one's temp uh, one's temperament okay now we have understood everything so it all depends how you understand the a list of headings so let's go to a paragraph i will be showing it to you paragraph as well as heading so you can select you can pause the screen and then match it with me yes first paragraph is there so you can pause the screen pause the video and do it so as far as uh, as far back as hippocrates time this uh, people have tried to understand other people by characterizing them according to personality type or temperament okay 
uh, hippocrates believed it means this is a person this may be writer believed that there were four different fluids that influenced four basic types of temperament his work was further developed 500 years later by jelen these days there are uh, any number of self assessment tools so this word also we have got from uh, multiple choice question that relate to the basic description uh, basic descriptions developed by jelen although we no longer believe the source to the type of body fluid body is also there that dominate our systems so i will not read it again so already i have read it i have found these two uh, these two person or writers you can say here they are talking about um, uh, they are uh, people have tried to understand other people by characterizing them according to personality type or temperament okay let's see the options so paragraph is in front of you so are they talking about summarizing summary kind of thing no they have just started the titles they have just started the passage so this can't be combined style for workplace are they talking about workplace no uh, physical examination i can see physical examination uh, types of body fluid as well as people have tried to understand other people by characterizing them according to personal type this also can be answered but uh, let's read another one a lively person who encourages so persons two persons were there but they were not a lively person who encourages demanding and unsympathetic personality was not there lazy and curse careless they were not talking benefits of understanding no benefits they were not talking any benefits cautious and caring nothing was there factual and analytic personality were not there self assessment determines one's temperament self assessment tools were there but are they what they talking what determines one's temperament nothing so we can go to physical examination here it is sure every paragraph will get uh, will get what headings okay now b paragraph now read it with me the values in self assessments that help determine personality styles okay uh, the values in self assessments that Uh, help determine personality styles learning styles communication styles conflict handling styles other aspects of individuals is that they depersonalize conflict in interpersonal depersonalize conflict in interpersonal relationship the values in self assessments that determine personality styles so let's read little bit more and the last sentence also i will read when used appropriately understanding communication styles can help resolve conflict on teams very rarely are a conflicts true personality issues mm, usually they are issues of styles information needs or focus okay okay so let's read it uh, otherwise definitely i will read a little bit more but try let's try to find out something uh, because from this full sentence these two sentences and last sentence summarizing personality types summarizing personality types learning styles no personality types learning style communication styles conflict style other individuals no values in self assessment that help det- uh, help determine personality styles so this we can uh, take it at the end combined styles for workplace no this physical that we have already selected there is no work place kind of thing okay a lively person who encourages no no person is not there but yes we can read it demanding and unsympathetic personality lazy and careless personality benefits of understanding communication style something they were talking about communication style see this when used appropriately understanding communication style can help resolve conflict on teams very rarely are very uh, conflicts through personality issues usually they are issue of style so i think we will go with benefits of understanding communication style so with b paragraph we will go with seventh number okay now c paragraph you can see this c paragraph is just small so yeah hippo uh, crates and letters again person name is here determined there were four basic temperaments this uh, 
uh, this, this, this. So there were four basic temperaments. These descriptions, descriptions were developed centuries ago and are still somewhat apt. Although you could update the wording in today's world, they translate into the four uh, fairly communication style described. Okay, so let's match it with this from here to here. This is just um, so if after this here they will start new paragraph. So this is not new paragraph. This question is repeated. Fourteenth question is this. So D paragraph I will show it to you. So are they talking about? Personality types. There were three, uh, four basic temperaments. Descriptions were there. Summarizing personality types. So here I think they are talking about some descriptions. Mm, uh, basically four types of basic temperaments. But let's match other things also. Combined style for workplace. Physical, this lively person, nothing. So, lazy and careless personality, nothing, they have not described anything. Benefits of understanding this, we have done. Cautious and careless, caring, factual, self-assessment determines one's temperament. So, I think they are talking about summarizing personality type because you can read it. Uh, determine, there were three, four basic temperaments, these, per, these four things. These descriptions, means some summary, summary, were developed centuries ago and are still a somewhat app although you could update the wording so this we can select with c number so c number is first number now d number paragraph so d number the sanguine person so another uh, d number paragraph is starting person would be expressive or spirited style of communication expressive or spirited okay so with this i can't if you can match it spirited no uh, spirited okay maybe encouraging these people speak in pictures they invest a lot of emotion and energy in their communication and often speak quickly lot of emotions okay lot of emotions and energy in their communication mm, and often they speak quickly putting their whole body into they are easily sidetracked onto a story that may or may not illustrate the point they are trying to make because of their enthusiasm they are great team motivators. So I will not read anymore because these lines are saying enthusiasm and they are great team motivators. So a lively person who encourages. So expressive or spirited style of communication. If you can't understand this, then definitely that's why I have read a little bit more. So here for D number, we will just match fourth number. Okay. Now E number paragraph, we can just go E number paragraph. See this style, philmatic person. Now another person, cool and preserving. Translate into technical or systematic communication style. If you can understand. Achha, okay, yes. This, this style of communication is focused on facts and technical details. So facts kind of thing were there. Technical or systematic. See this. Uh, they were talking. Factual and analytic personality. They are talking about this person. So with... E number we will select 9 number now we have almost we have uh, uh, we have read all these headings so many times that's why we could after reading some words we can understand that this will be matching with this uh, heading so clearly it is given this style of communication is focused on facts and details so I will not be reading more details so let's go to F paragraph so now look at this F paragraph. Now another third type of person who is soft hearted and oriented toward uh, uh, doing things for others translate into considerate or sympathetic. So somewhere unsympathetic personality demanding and let's read it little bit more. <clears throat> uh, a person soft hearted and oriented toward doing things for others a person with this communication style is focused on people and relationship they are good listeners and do things for other people sometimes to the detriment of getting things done for themselves they want to solicit solicit um, uh, everyone's opinion and make sure everyone is comfortable with this done at times focus on others can okay they believe that change threatens the status quo and tends to make feel uh, people uneasy. So people with this communication style like need time to consider the changes in order to adopt them. Okay, so here comparison is given, I think. 
between this people and uh, this melancholic people so they are soft hearted oriented towards doing for others so they are considered sympathetic communication style okay so let's find it what they are trying to see combined style for no workplace physical examination we have done this also demanding and unsympathetic personality unsympathetic is not there here St communication style is focused on people and relationship good listeners do things for other people getting things done for themselves they want to this comfortable okay lazy and careless personality no talking cautious and caring i think this caring for people it is given so listeners and do things for other people that is caring kind of thing so for f we will select eighth number now g and h now here now fourth type of person is there the choleric temperament translate into the bold or direct style of communication people with this style are brief in their communication the fewer words and better they are big picture thinkers and love to be involved in many things at once they are focused on task and outcomes often forget forget that people involved in carrying out the task have needs they don't do detail work easily and as a result can often underestimate how much achieve because they are so direct they often seem forceful and can be very intimidating to others they usually would welcome someone challenging them but most other styles are afraid to do so they thrive on change the more the better okay so bold or direct style of communication people uh, brief in communication fewer words are better okay this we have done demanding and unsympathetic this can be done they are demanding and unsympathetic they want the work clearly it is given so this also we can select fifth number with g paragraph the big picture thinkers love to be involved in many things they are focused on task and carrying out the task have needs they don't do detail as a result offer often underestimate how much time it's would welcome challenging so it means demanding and unsympathetic personality so h last paragraph i am showing you h paragraph also well functioning team team is there so i think in one at one place or oh no it is i think this will match with team should have all of these communication styles for true effectiveness all teams need to focus on the task and they need to take care of relationships in order to achieve those tasks they need the big picture perspective or the context of their work work is also there and they need the details to be identified taken care of success okay we all have aspects of each style and uh, within us some of us can easily move from one style to another and style for others the work environment see this last sentence so that's why first two three sentences and the last sentence is important to read the work environment uh, can influence communication styles either by type of work that is required or predominance of one style reflected in the environment some people use one style at work and another at home combined styles for workplace will come with this h number that is uh, second number now true false not given before starting true false not given we can do this because i have already got this location self assessment tools in first paragraph a paragraph so here you can see self assessment tools they were talking so let's read the question statement again so what they are saying the writer believes using self assessment tools can now i will not be reading any options first we will just find these days uh, there are any number of self assessment tools that relate to the basic descriptions developed by jelen although we no longer believe the sources to be types of body fluid that determine, uh, determine dominate our systems his work was further developed so here person are the uh, Uh, trying to understand each other by characteris characterizing okay help to develop one's personality help to develop one's personality basic description sources of type no help to develop one's personality no development of any personality help to understand colleagues behavior 
this also we can say because there are two person first this person had developed in uh, just 500 years ago and after this this person had tried to understand his uh, teachings and all improve one's relationship with the employer this is also not given in the whole passage directly resolve conflicts so conflicts were there but directly resolve conflicts were not there so that's why this will come so these kinds of question uh, it, at the end when one mcq is there you can do this type of question you can select any option without reading the passage because till the time you will reach at this question you will get the uh, story of the uh, basic thing about the passage